Hey guys, what is going on? This is Superhero Today. I'm giving you the Scar L Dogs for on Domination on Express. I believe this is. I'm using the Quick Draw and uh, the Fast Mag attachment. And yeah, you'll see a random funny death. Uh, I don't know, uh, some fire engine video. This is when I uh, first joined. And yeah, so once again, I'm sorry for the little laziness of the uploads. I'm just getting extremely lazy. And. Yeah, that's kind of that's my lame ass excuse. It's not a good one, but it's one nonetheless. So uh, today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the new patch and another pretty serious topic that uh, <clears throat> you know a few commentators have kind of touched on and whatnot. But first, I'm gonna say the patch is pretty good at buff the aim assist on the Wii mode. The, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Wii mode it doesn't jitter anymore. And you know, it doesn't jump around when you're aiming aim down sights, so it runs a lot smoother. Uh, the aim assist really helps out on it now, which is awesome. So, yeah, that's kind of update on it. I will have the thingy in the description about it, but that's not like I said, it's not really the main thing I'm here to talk about. It's a serious topic that ruins lives and makes people feel quote unquote good before they crash. If you guys even know what I'm talking about, it is drugs. Uh, drugs is a very, very negative thing in lives. It, geez, it causes pain to the person that's using it and to the people around him. You know what? I, if you don't know what I mean, well, if you ever seen someone on uh, high off a certain drug, you would notice that uh, they sometimes hurt other people, and eventually they could hurt themselves and get in serious trouble, hurt themselves socially, economically, and financially. Uh, mentally and physically as well, obviously. Those two play a pretty big role in this, in this. But yeah, uh, I've seen people use Vora. I don't. I never used it in my life. I'm not planning to. Not sure. I drink from time to time, but I don't really drink as much as I used to. Uh, I slacked off big time because you know I don't want to waste my money in alcohol and stuff like that. So. Uh, I don't know, it, it's something so messed up, like, before, uh, last week, someone worked at a uh, computer tech store, and they, well, not computer tech, like a capsule, which is a community, uh, public place where people go on computers, surf the web and whatnot, and someone my age gave a 12-year-old marijuana, which... You know, the kid obviously went to their parents and told them about what happened, and he lost her job, obviously, and cops, I'm pretty sure the cops got involved. But, yeah, that's just kind of a little rant. That's kind of, that had me thinking, really. But, yeah, I think here's a failed grenade throw. But, that's, you know, it sucks, because eventually if you get hooked on it, you can, like, screw your entire life up. Say if you got a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband or something like that, you taking those drugs can seriously affect your relationship with them. It can hurt your kids if you have any, or hurt, you know, your friends or your family. And yeah, you'd be you'd be left alone probably in a prison rotting where you deserve to be if you want to take drugs and make yourself feel better. Uh, really, there's alternate ways to make yourself come down from depression. You can easily talk to people about it, but people choose the hard way. They usually do. They usually take drugs or alcohol. And like I said, it hurts people around them, which, you know, isn't really that fun. But you can't tell them what to do. They really, that's your own life. You can't tell them what to do with their life, but nonetheless, whatever, like I said, you can't tell them what to do. Sad thing, I know, but it comes at a price, and you will be probably be alone, broke, and in a lot of pain. So, yep, that's kind of really all I had to talk about. I, like I said, I never took them. I don't promote anybody taking them. I, especially, I'm not planning to take them anytime soon. I rather die than have some needle or some stupid ass drug up to my lips or in my arm. Uh, I never smoked a single cigarette in my life. I don't plan to. I'm nice and healthy. I love to run, play me some basketball. I never die. Or collapse on the floor coughing like a 70 year old man trying to suck the air out of an air out of a 
<coughs> gas tank or an air tank or an air compressor, but what can you do? I like to say guys it's their life, they can screw it up however they want it, I don't plan to, never, nor will I. I have an alternate thing to kind of get rid of my depression, it's known as video gaming and YouTube. Those two things just kind of keep me out of trouble. I used to be a pretty bad kid until the cops came to my door for the first time ever and the last time. Um, yep, YouTube is my alternate hobby that I like to do to keep myself out of trouble and not take drugs or anything like that. So, if you know, if you guys want to know why, because I speak to a lot of people on YouTube and Skype, I meet a lot of cool, a lot of friends. You know, I I don't want to fight myself on them. One of my, kind of my really good friends I usually always talk to, but, you know, you got your alternate way to, you want to quote unquote be something else. Well, there you go. Hurt the dirt. You can go shove a needle in your arm. You have fun with that and just see how that works out for you in your life. Anyways, that's the end of the commentary. I know it's not as, you know, crappy as usual, but whatever. If you guys did enjoy, if you guys did, don't forget to leave a like rating and peace.